back. This time I'm coming with a client and basically what I'm doing here, I'm gonna get right into it, is I'm shaping her brows. For people that already have full brows, if you remember my last video, I just conceal your brows first, so I follow the shape of your brows. So if you have a client that already has full brows, I follow the shape of the brow. The concealer I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the medium contour cream kit palette in the color Banana. And I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just follow the shape of her eyebrows and then slightly fill it in with a dark brown pencil. And I'm literally drawing stroke hair-like um, motion and basically just filling in anywhere else. And I'm cleaning it up. And that's really it for a brow that's already full. I'm dragging that concealer down to her eyes because that's gonna be basically my prime as well for my eyeshadow or base for my eyeshadow. And just making sure everything looks clean and dragged out and blended out. So now I'm using a fluffy blender brush. Um, I got, it's a kaboot, like it's a um, bamboo brush. Basically, I'm just blending that concealer in, um, pushing it into her skin so it could be a little bit more blended um, and it doesn't look crazy under her foundation. So I'm setting that with the Revolution um, Light Banana Powder. I'm setting her brows because when you set your brows, it also gives it a more natural look as well. So now I'm going into my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette in the the color that I'm using basically for the crease is going to be actually um, it's called Zoho um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the crease and just blend that in with a fluffy blending brush now I'm gonna go ahead and go with a color a darker color from the Juvia's um, the Nubian 2 palette and the color is Jezebel and it's basically to deepen her crease to give it a more smoked out pink look and I'm using that previous brush that has the same um, transition color to just blend that out so I'm just gonna just right into the lids like I said this is an easy quick look that you should do as a beginner for your clients and I'm using a glitter um, basically liner and it's by Ruby Kiss and it's in the color silver and I'm just slightly applying some silver glitter into her um, lids and I'm actually just putting it in a round motion following her lids because this look is not really about precision but it's really about just creating a smoky glitter look um, and it's pretty easy so basically I'm gonna go back out with the Jezebel and I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it out again um, around the glitter so it could look seamless and I'm blending that back out with the previous blending brush and you just want to go back and forth with the brushes you have because they already have leftover residue from the product so you don't have to keep reusing it so because of fallout from glitter I'm just cleaning her face up and then I've actually started to love using these sponges because they're very clean and disposable and you don't have to reuse them and it's very sanitary so I'm just applying foundation into her skin I would recommend for you to um, dampen the beauty blender a little bit it's not really a beauty blender it's a beauty sponge but you could find it at any beauty store Ulta and I just wet the um, sponge just a little bit so it could transfer into the skin so I'm going back in with banana from the Anastasia Hill um, Beverly Hills palette I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying to like do this voiceover and I'm using that same sponge because it still has some residue from the foundation so it could blend out that this concealer very day. smoothly yeah. and remember to dampen your sponge remember when it's wet and you squeeze it out and it's wet and it's gonna be way better so I'm just damping that into your skin pushing it into her skin and she is having fun obviously and I'm still making sure it's really blended out so it doesn't crease or anything when we Set it. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Revolution Setting Powder in the color Banana, Light Banana to be exact. Um, just slightly applying the setting powder. I've realized the less you use, the better. Um, it doesn't matter how much you use, you're just setting the product. So now I'm going to go ahead and start bronzing. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills color in the color Tawny. And I'm just applying that and surrounding her face, creating a tan that is just light and you see how i apply it i just press it into her skin i don't rub it i don't do any like dragging back and forth i just press it into her skin i don't really use cream concealer if i don't have to and my hands are not ashy y'all it's just that i have a lot of powders in my hand so i hope y'all know that so i'm just coating her lashes um with some mascara before i apply her falsies 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that Jezebel under her eyes to create that smoke factor um, all over. And I'm going in with a black eyeliner. You could use any black eyeliner um, and just smoke out the bottom lash line a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna get into her lashes and I already applied one off camera, but just basically precision, just go as close as possible. I obviously didn't have any nails in this video, so it was a little bit, you know, easy to put them on. So now I'm gonna be using a MAC lip liner, and actually it's not a MAC lip liner, it's in the color, yikes, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find, pale pink, so it's a lip liner, and it's called pale pink. I'm using it as, all over her lips to create like a matte lipstick but we're gonna go ahead and apply gloss over it to give it like a kissable look making your lips look plumpy and juicy for whoever so now I'm gonna be using a highlight um the highlight that I'm using is the Dawn Pro Glow Kit and it's in the color bright and bubbly it's like a iridescent um highlight and basically guys that's the look she is ready to motherfucking go sorry for cursing but look at her i mean baddie af my cat is really fucking with me because she know i'm doing a voiceover and she's in the background yelling but if you want to catch this sleigh and you're in tampa florida book me i will link my instagram and my facebook and guys stay tuned for the next video and subscribe like and comment if you want to know how to do your client's makeup easy and quick, just keep watching my videos because I'll be doing both myself and my clients. Thank you guys. Have a good one and let her slay herself.